oh man, what a weekend it was. When I saw things in the timeline, I mean, I've never seen this when it comes to esports and gaming events. If you guys missed it, it was Valorant World Champs this past weekend. An amazing series between Evil Geniuses and Paper Rex, and an amazing tournament that lasted weeks and weeks. Some great media coverage, some great moments, and also an amazing intro ceremony for the Grand Champs and the Grand Finals. I mean, this is why Riot truly sets the bar next to that of like, you know, CSGO events. This is some of the best ceremonies you'll ever see for any esports event. And then not to mention, of all people, blew my mind. Elon Musk was apparently around. I have to imagine either Riot maybe said, hey, come on by a gigantic, you know, million plus viewed esports tournament in LA where, where you're in town. Come on by. Elon Musk stopping by and also then getting booed in the arena. People were like, bring back Twitter, which <laughs> they just things that were not on my bingo card at all, like ever. Here it is. Paperwork to try and close. Where's that from? That can't be from in here, surely. <laughs> Is that a bigger reaction than Ten's got? Yeah, I think so. Damn. Must be nice. Ten to five. Locus back on the game now. Paper X. Another challenge for them. Ten <laughs> rounds. <laughs> this crowd's funny. We're all ready. And then you also had Ben Affleck there. I, I think he brought his kids along. I'm, I'm sure his kids were huge Valorant fans. I think they also saw footage of his kids meeting the voice actress uh, for Rays and other things. So clearly his kids were big fans. And uh, I'm a KO man right now, but yeah. I'm, and Rays too. I think Rays is like uh, the other man. I'm a little bit of a... I'm a little promiscuous with who I mean. You know what I mean? I move around a little bit. And then you had someone like Tark, almost 200,000 viewers. Overall, the event, I believe, peaking at 1.2 million concurrence or something crazy when it comes time for viewership. But Tark's, I mean, God dang, the dude is literally killing it. Being able to watch a, a game like Valorant, having more viewership than the actual main broadcast, absolutely killing it the whole way through. Full flash. Wow, they pushed off sight. the Possessed by a ghost. It looks like he's watching himself play. Yeah. Like he's not the one play. It looks like he's watching. He's reacting to it. Yeah, he's reacting to himself. Wait, what the and then not to mention the series itself comes down between Paper Rex and EG. You had Jing, who's going to go on military uh, service. Uh, an amazing and incredible story that he has to share as well. Paper Rex, I would say the favorites going into this one versus NA, right? And then you had someone like Demon but supposedly one of the best players in the entire game, as many of the players playing this grand finals were. I mean, it was just an amazing series to watch. Like you really couldn't have asked for much better when it came to storyline v storyline. Of course, you bring in Potter and what she's done with evil geniuses and that whole idea of once they got into franchising and the struggles they had and to turn it into Valorant world champs. You can't write this any better. Oh. And then you got Demon 1, 
who I don't know how many fines he's going to have to pay, but just going on stage saying, F it, man, where are the haters now? I'm the best player in the mother freaking game. Like, what a, what a rook that is. Demon one, when you came into this team, uh, I remember seeing the conversation online and there were question marks. People were unsure. They were not, they, they were like, wait, who is this guy? Uh, why is he on this team? Is this just a meme? They weren't sure. And then you start playing and then you start shutting people up. I mean, was that it? Was that your motivation the whole time? Like the moment you got on this team, you just want to prove everyone wrong? Oh yeah. Fuck the haters. Respect my fucking name. I'm the best player in this game. Best player! <laughs> You know what, he's a champion. He, we'll give him that yeah. one. We'll give him that one. It was just really cool, man. All, all in all, Riot did a stellar job. The teams did a stellar job. Uh, you know, I had some teams I was cheering for, some players I was cheering for, but you get this once a year, right? And this is just, it roasts me almost back into Valorant. Have not been watching too frequently, but man, when it came to this, they did an amazing job for champs. What did you guys think about it? And uh, what was your favorite part about all of this? There's so many freaking tie-ins. It's like, if we can get Elon at a Valorant event, can we get Gaben to show up for CSGO for once in our god dang lives? Till next time, take care, drink up, lots of great stories this week. Thank you all for being here. We'll see you back here soon.